Frozen pizza has never looked this good. Okay, here's how I did it. I put some broccoli on top of the frozen pizza along with some thinly sliced onions. Now, back in 2013, as you see here in this picture, I used to always make my own pizza from scratch. But these days, as a busy wife and mother, I like a nice shortcut, okay? Now, here are some more pictures from my Facebook page. That's the dough and the pizza. Like I said, I used to do everything from scratch. But this hack works just fine. So I'm going to take some of these caraba herbs and I'm going to put a little bit on top of the pizza. But more importantly, once the pizza is done, I'm going to take some of these herbs and mix it with olive oil and drizzle it over the crust. OK, now I use the cast iron skillet to put my pizza in the oven because I want a nice crust on the bottom without it being soggy. And I put the oven on 400 degrees. So like I said, I'm going to go ahead and drizzle the crust with the herb and olive oil mixture. Now, back in the day, I used to use just pure butter, and that was even tastier. But you know, we gotta be a little more health conscious at times, so I'm gonna use olive oil instead. Now, just look at this pizza. It does not look nor taste like it was a frozen pizza. I love the way this pizza turned out. Now, how I get individually frozen slices of pizza, I take a whole pizza, I slice it when it's a little bit unthawed, and put it in Ziploc bags in between parchment paper. That's all I do. Thanks for watching.